Local folks with local stories. That's what your day is all about. Toledo is full of stories of people who are from somewhere else, but still as American as you and me. Genevieve Giha Girkbride has taken her family's story and written it into a compelling book of hopes, dreams, and better future. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, my pleasure. You know, I was reading through a little bit um, uh, about your book, uh, Carmen. Uh, it's so compelling, and I think a lot of people can identify with it, but just take us through the story a little bit and, and what made you decide to write it down into a book. I'll be glad to. Uh, it is my family's immigrant story, and Carmen uh, is my mother, and uh, she uh, was instrumental in raising three children, not being able to speak the language. But the story also tells about our voyage uh, from Lebanon in 1946 mm -hmm. to come here uh, to Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> uh, it is a um, compelling story that people really identified with. Uh, it's a, unlike m most immigrants of today. Uh, the whole uh, it, series occurred because I found a shoebox full of handwritten notes. It was my handwriting, mm. and they were written on the back of grocery lists and uh, uh, sales receipts. And there were stories that my mother used to tell when I take her to errand on errands. Uh, about growing up in Damascus and uh, her arranged marriage. And all, we all thought that it was so full of drama, couldn't possibly be true. Right. <laughs> you said, how could this be true? But, uh, but it was. And all those notes that you took, you know, are, I would imagine, working into the book, huh? Yes, it did. And they were, all her uh, stories were verified by uh, some Arab Americans in uh, the North Toledo who just happened to be our neighbors in Lebanon in the wow. 40s. They verified for me that these her stories were true and they weren't uh, full of drama. So I felt that that was the hand of God to tell me that I needed to write her story. Mm. And the second book, Carmen in America, was a sequel, talks about how uh, she uh, viewed Toledo, uh, the Paramount Theater, Lamson's grocery, uh, Lamson's store, and uh, just tells her impressions and what she had to do not being able to speak English. And uh, so readers were really quite interested. There's uh, quite a bit of uh, culture and history and tradition uh, in Leban Lebanese mm -hmm. culture. Wow, and I think that, you know, it, it sounds like she experienced quite a bit of hardship and was able to, to overcome that here in Toledo. Yes, she did, and it's come become my mission to tell her story of faith, particularly to women who may find themselves in similar circumstances would be encouraged that they can get through it and things are not as they seem. Mm. Particularly women are intimidated at times. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's my mission. I'm just <laughs> retired uh, mom and uh, felt that this story needed to come out, particularly with what's going on in the world these yeah. days. Yeah, I think a lot of people can identify and they are interested. So where can they get your book? Um, you can uh, uh, go to kirkbridepress.com. Uh, it's available at Gathering Volumes Bookstore. It's Swayze Florist in uh, Maumee. And uh, it's also in PayPal. But crookbridepress.com is a little quicker. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Genevieve, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your story of your mom. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for having me. You bet. Take care.